Complex mensuration, cone and cylinder. Now this is not an easy question. It's also done in algebra, so there's no numbers involved. But there's it's four, we have four marks, but there's an easy way of getting two marks out of this question. First of all, we have to realise that the formula for the cone surface area is given at the front of the formula book, but the one for the cylinder is not. So you need to know that, or we'll be able to work it out. Now you're told that these two surface areas are the same, so let's just work out the surface area of each thing. So the cone the curved surface area is pi r l okay and that's just pretty much the st the same um values that are used in the formula uh but we need to work out also the area of the base because that's the total surface area is part that plus pi r squared and you would get one mark for working that out or just writing that down now the cylinder is quite a complicated formula but you should be able to work it out in parts. This circle on the top and the bottom is pi r squared and there's two of them so that's 2 pi r squared. Now this uh, side bit is the tricky bit. If you think about that, that's actually going to, if we unwrap it, we're going to end up with a very long strip here which is height r and this length here is the circumference of the circle and the circumference of the circle is pi times the diameter and the diameter of the circle is twice the radius so that's also equal to pi times 2 times r so we've got twice pi r squared for the two circles top and bottom plus pi times 2 times r times this r and that gives us um, I think any equivalent value there would give you uh, a method mark, but this does simplify down. If I sort this out, r times r is r squared times by 2 times by pi. That's exactly the same as this, in fact. So that's 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r squared, which is 4 pi r squared. Now, we're going to say they're the same, so we need to say 4 pi r squared equals pi r l plus pi r squared, and that gets you another method mark. So, not really that much. Um, you get three out of four marks for not really um, doing anything complicated apart from stating what's going on. Now this is from here a little bit tricky but if you think about it you should be able to think it through. So we've got four pi r squares here that equals something plus pi r squared. So we take the pi r squared away we end up with three pi r squared equals pi r l and we can cancel divide both sides by pi um, divide both sides by r and we're left with 3r equals l. So l equals 3r for 4 marks.